Today's Week 10 Mountain West Conference matchup has the Wyoming Cowboys traveling to Albuquerque to take on the New Mexico Lobos. The Cowboys are 7-1 overall and 4-0 in conference play after last week's 42-35 victory over the Utah State Aggies. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings after Week 9. Halfback Harrison Whaley was named Mountain West Conference Offensive Player of the Week last week. The Cowboys currently have no players with any significant injuries listed on this week's injury report. This week's Top 25 Rankings Our first look at the Heisman Trophy Watch. The Cowboys individual stats through week nine.
the current Cowboys recruiting board. And now, our Week 10 Mountain West Conference Showdown as the 7-1 Cowboys take on the 6-2 New Mexico Lobos in Albuquerque. Welcome everyone to University Stadium, home to the Lobos of the University of New Mexico, and the fans here are fired up for this clash. Today, these two teams square off in what should be an exciting Mountain West Showdown. As we'll see, the winners of seven straight, the Wyoming Cowboys, taking on the New Mexico Lobos. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Cowboys will boot it away to start the game. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Lobos' offense takes the field. And when you have a quarterback like this guy, the entire offense feeds off of him, David. Uh, everybody feeds off of his energy, and the whole playbook's open because you can trust on him. He's dependable, Palmer. He's also one of those guys, if he gets in a good rhythm, watch out. This dude starts firing strikes. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. They go to the ground. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. They come to the line facing third and long from the 25. Looking to throw, it's Dampier. Unloads to the wideout. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. The Lobos will send out the punt unit. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. Calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. So Wyoming's offense will take the field for the first time. And what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team. And generally, games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. On first down, here comes this offense. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. Power football with the run. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Out of the gun, the inside give. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Line is set on third down. The give to the fullback. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. 
You know, this is a running back who wants the ball, and he wants the offense to run through him. Really nice job there on the third down of this opening drive for his offense. I can't wait to see what kind of game this guy's going to have. Running back searching for a hole. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Scanning the field, it's Svoboda. Fires to the tight end. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. You've got to get him involved. The Cowboys will snap it on first and ten. He's going to pass. Into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. A 69-yard touchdown drive. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The receiver on the jet sweep. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. They'll go to the ground. Knocked down for the tackle. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to power their way ahead. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. A fair catch called for and made. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Offense gets set for second down. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I'll tell you, man, I love quarterbacks that have arm talent, but that can throw it accurately at the same time, and you saw all of it on that in route. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will, third and short from the 45. Just a short pass to the tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The hand to the running back. Hard running there. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He's looking to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. 
dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Well, it's a nice job by the defender there, closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. And the Cowboys are on the move. Trying to find his man on first down. Makes the grab. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Uh, and you got man-to-man -man coverage. You're running that curl route. That ball has to come out. You know you're going to get hit. Like, you know you stopped your route. He's going to be right there. He does a great job securing the catch, getting the first down. The gift to the back. They make the stop, but he got work done on the ground, picking up six to the 23. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm now. They're letting him drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. To the air. It's Svoboda. Finds his big tight end. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. They saw that blitz coming, and the way to get out of it is find the tight end. Yeah, how quick did he see that, too? Sees the blitz, understands this is a matchup where I got my big tight end, the big fella. I trust. I'm going to find that matchup, get him the football for the... And into the end zone, and he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Wyoming! I love running backs that have a nose for the goal line. Understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone, know I get six, and then go celebrate with your boys. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They took it 71 yards down the field. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Really nice run there. and they try to find a way to answer. Starting this drive like that is exactly what they'd hoped for now, first and 10 from the 40. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Back to throw, it's Dampier. The quick out. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. And the Lobos come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, running back on the move. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Lost a fire on second down. Good timing on the quick out. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. It's not a great feeling on defense, too. When you're blitzing, you're expecting to get a sack. You're expecting to get a hit on the quarterback. If the offensive line and running backs pick it up, uh-oh, because now you have one less guy in the back end trying to cover all these receivers and tight ends, and you know you're in trouble. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold, hold, hold. 
They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. They want to throw it. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. He's looking to throw. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. Third and long situation, we're bringing an extra DB on the field, and we're telling our front guys to pin your ears back and go get the QB, and they get the job done. The Lobos will line up to punt it away. And the punt hits. It'll come out to the 20. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that, up two touchdowns. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field, David, so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. I mean, you've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. Get a stop. Create some momentum for your offense. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D-tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double-teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. He finds his man. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator's calling good plays. The quarterback and his unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. Looking to move it through the air. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. This defense needed something to go right. Man, they're down big already in the first half. Get to the quarterback. Get him on the ground. This could start some momentum going back the other direction. Big first down sack for the defense. Brings up second down. He's looking to throw. Got his man quickly. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And that was a nice throw by the QB. When you see that drag route coming across the field, how about putting the ball right on his numbers? Not high, not low, where he has to stop his momentum. Right on the numbers where he can catch it, keep running, and chew up some yards after the catch. Coming after him. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole. You just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves in. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. We will get another look at this New Mexico offense. The league's not insurmountable just down 14-0, but David, you don't score here, and it could get a little tricky fast. If you don't score here, if you don't possess the football and put something together to give your defense a little bit of a blow, it's not the ideal start. But it ain't like this game's late in the football game. Create some momentum here in the second quarter. Yeah, momentum's a real thing in college football. This team needs the juju to get going. That first quarter is one they'd love to forget. So find your best playmakers now. Get them isolated. Get them the football and let them go to work. Snagged in the middle, it's Jones. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. And the Lobos have it with a first and ten. To the ground with the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Right back to the well. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Off play action. He's got it. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. He's got it and still on his feet. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. To throw, it's Dampier. Zings it complete to the right. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, New Mexico! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Hey, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Georgia is on top, but this is a close game. And, you know, back at home, that guy needs to emerge for them today. They're up by 11 over Florida. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. Oh, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Pressure coming. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. And that's a really good decision by the quarterback. Don't take the sack. Throw the ball away. Now, listen, we can debate whether that was intentional grounding or not because he's still in the pocket. I'm not sure that that's not classified as grounding, but they didn't call it. So you know what? Nice throw away, QB. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. Catch in the middle. It's King. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. It's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Got his man downfield. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Yeah, and you see some quarterbacks who hesitate to throw the ball in the middle. I love it when you attack the whole field. And the middle of the field and being able to throw over linebackers and between safeties is a big skill. But show that defense. You're, you, you will attack everywhere. They might be thinking back-to-back -back big plays after that last one. First and 10 from the 32. From the gun to give, looking for room. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. To the air, it's Svoboda. Oh, picked off. Taking it the other way. The 40. The 30. He's at the 10. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Lobos! This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, and get you a touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Bangs it through for an extra point. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. Here's the return from inside his 10. Just never had a chance at the 24.
Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. The give to the tailback. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. They'll use a timeout right before halftime, maybe time for one or two more plays. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Looking to pass. It's Svoboda. Complete to the left. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Just enough time for one final play of the half. To the air on first down. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Wyoming. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Number nine. And how about the aggressiveness? This coach says, I'm going forward. We're going to put six on the board, time ticking down, maybe be a little bit more conservative. I love the way they put the hammer down. Now they have the lead going into the half, an extra point away from a seven-point lead. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14.
Cowboys will kick it off to start the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Let's see what the Lobos offense has dialed up this time. They start this third quarter, one possession game, and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and they're ready to take the field here and see if they can get something established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening drive. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offensive coordinator's brain so I know exactly what I need to do to attack this defense, and I get ball first. Looking for a man. It's Dampier. Find his man down the middle. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. The Lobos come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Give to the running back. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He leaves it with the back. He has an extensive juke library, and he exhausted it and still didn't pick up much. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. And that is your job. The O-line has to protect their quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. You got to make sure you keep him upright. You got to do a better job. And the Lobos will call on their punt team. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And the punt hits at the... Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Pollard. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. They'll leave it with him plows through the defense and the Cowboys will keep this drive going and I don't care if I get it by 2 by 20 by 30 by 40 I just I just want to get the first down understanding the situation understanding where the sticks are doesn't have to be sexy but I got to make sure I get to that stick get to the first down mark and this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack great job in coverage by the defense he just had nowhere to go with the ball A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Wants to throw. It's Svoboda. They're trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And the ball is caught. He's inside the 35. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Wyoming. Well, this offense looked unstoppable in the first half, lighting up the scoreboard, and it doesn't look much different here in the second half. They take their first drive of the third quarter, march it down the field and score. There is no end in sight for these guys. this defense with his arm and his mind over 300 yards passing now and the extra point is good for a 28 14 lead let's go to the studio now and check in with kevin connors kevin what do you got guys let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup 
Georgia is running away with this one thanks to an offense that's been sick of them since the opening kickoff. They're up by 25 over Florida. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen. Gives him a little shake and he's got some room. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, New Mexico. It was a really nice job on the route concept because they got the safety occupied, which opened up the deep middle of the field for the receiver on the post. He uses his speed. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it out in front of him. He makes the catch and then runs it into the end zone. The AT unit on the field. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. He thought about taking a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Wyoming has the football back and here comes the offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Leaves it with the running back. Nice move there. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. Third down after the run. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Runs through the tackle. Solid work and execution there. They'll have a first down as they mark it at the 40. I'll say, watching this offense this year, one of the things you have to be really happy about is their ability to move the sticks. This is one of the top 25 offenses in the country in getting first downs. That running back is one of the biggest reasons. He is open. And the defense gets to the quarterback. As a defensive end, trust me, I was a defensive end, I can tell you. You start getting a little lathered up. Now you got your second sack. It's only the third quarter. Your eyeballs are getting big. This is going to be one of those days. I'm going to get me three. I'm going to get me four. Shoot, I might even get me five. Clock ticks under the four-minute mark here in the third quarter. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say it's out of bounds. An incomplete pass. And listen, as a quarterback, you're trying to find the matchup, trying to find who's open. I don't know if anybody was open, but that was not a greatly thrown football. I don't know if it was miscommunication, but the ball thrown out of bounds, and just on to the next down. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Throws into double coverage, and it's picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Really tough on an offense. Third and long, it's tough to you know you're passing the football. They know you're passing the football. I'm going to rush the passer. I'm going to drop back deep, make you throw the ball underneath. But, you know, quarterbacks also want to force that football and try to get that first down. He does there, and that's why he creates the turnover. Now New Mexico will go back to work on offense. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. Off the play fake on first down to throw. It's caught downfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. He wants to throw. It's complete. 
They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Lobos! He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just... Uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. And the extra point was good. No incident there, and we are tied up in the third. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. On the run from inside his own five. Good job by the coverage unit. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That, that's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you've got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. What perfect execution on that big run. Everything perfectly blocked, and this guy doesn't need a lot of room. I love how this offensive line communicates and works up front. You see guys winning their one-on-one -on -one battles. There's double teams happening. Guys are getting into the second level and creating big lanes for this running back. They'll give it to him again. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Give to the single back. The Cowboys are stopped, but not before getting the first down. Man, those, those little chunks keep annoying the crud out of you when you're on defense. It's just putting them in easy situations, chewing up four to six yards at a pop like that. Puts you in a bad situation as a defensive coordinator. What do I call? Either way, priority number one, you got to stop the run. What a ride. It's been through the first three quarters of this game. We are all tied up. Let's check out some stats. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Leaves it with the back. Tough sledding there as he picks up one to the 29. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it. Makes the grab. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible, and sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. 
but I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of him. They'll go to the fullback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Let's be honest, Reese. Like, the only time the fullback gets the football is usually in short yard situations, and the defense was locked in. You got to try to get penetration with that defensive line. They did a good job of it. Nowhere to go with the football for the big fun. Absolute shank. Missed it. After that failed field goal attempt, fellas, still tie ball game. Line gets set, first down. They'll run the toss. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. He had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll snap it again from the 38. Quick completion on the out route. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. The give to the back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Now they'll run the draw. And a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Hoping to help their kicker out with a few yards on third down because from here, it would be a 58-yarder. They'll try to run for it. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. The Lobos come to the line with a new set of downs. They're looking to get the edge with this one on the toss. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. To the air, it's Dampier. Working that left side now. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Trying to get to it. Gonna try to get it himself. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. He'll come out throwing on first down. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Now second and ten. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. Tight windows, no problem to grab the tackle. And it's first down in the red zone at the ten. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And they stop him just short of the goal line. They'll mark it at the one. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Touchdown, New Mexico! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. He'll try to tack on one more. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Florida State is currently ahead in this one, but unlike the days when Bobby Bowles blowout today in Tallahassee, they're up by 11 over North Carolina. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Grabbed over the middle. It's King. 
They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. New set of downs after that completion. Comes out throwing on first down. Quickly complete. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. And it's knocked away and incomplete the defensive back, staying in phase and batting it away. And the defense is playing with a sense of urgency right now. Obviously, they're playing with the lead. They know this offense needs to find a way to generate points, expecting a shot on that last play. So nice job in coverage. Back to pass. It's Svoboda. He's right on target. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence that this offense is going to make a play. in search of that tying touchdown. They've moved the chains a couple of times. It's first and 10 again. He's going to pass. Caught over the middle. It's Brown. He stopped at the 32, picks up 10 on the play, and gets the first down. A really nice day from this quarterback. Over 350 yards passing now, Jess. He's had a plan all game long. He just seems to find his best matchups, and he's done an awesome job giving his guys opportunities to make plays. Fires to the big fella. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Open, open, open. Just an obvious holding call there, and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Looking for a productive play on first down. Back to the air one more time. Looking deep. And he makes the catch inside the 10. Touchdown, Cowboys. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And great job executing. The offense did what they needed to do. You got somewhat of a decision here. Do you want to kick it? tie it up I think you do with this time frame you know one to two minutes left in the fourth quarter you probably want to do that but you could push the envelope you could go for two and try to take the lead lining up to add another and no problem on that extra point and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. Fielded in the end zone. It's Polk. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. We will get another look at this New Mexico offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. He's got his man. Makes the grab. Brought down at the 25 after he picked up 10. Wants to throw on first down. And it's intercepted. Oh, what a big play in a tie game. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. It's the plays like that that are going to end up defining and deciding this game, right? It's tight. Tie game, fourth quarter. Someone is going to step up and make a game-changing play, and the defender did right there. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. 
They're in a perfect situation here, David. Just make sure you drain the clock and you have the last play. 100%. You can't lose. That's how you want to do it. Bleed the clock. Get in a position, Jesse, where you kick the field goal and the clock's at zero. It just comes down to which plays that you can run in your sleep here. Easy things you can go out and execute to give your kicker the best shot at winning you this game. This offense right on the doorstep. They can grab the lead late as time continues to wind that Headed to the end zone. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. A very productive play on first down has now set us up with this second and goal. Slams it ahead. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. They'd love to make this short field payoff with a touchdown instead of settling for three, but it is third and goal. Trying to bully their way in. Touchdown, Cowboys! They move on top here in the fourth. Man, how about this offense in crunch time, doing what they do, getting six on the board. Now I turn to my defense right now and say, boys, we need one more stop. Lining up for the PAT. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. And he'll just... Let's see what the Lobos offense has dialed up this time. There's plenty of time to work with here, but they have to be highly efficient in their attack, Jesse. So it comes down to the quarterback position. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Bringing it back. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. How about that D coming up with a play like that? That one pushes this lead out a little bit more here in the fourth, and now they can smell eight straight wins. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Now New Mexico will go back to work on offense. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. It's complete. A huge pickup. And the big game. And they've got it on the 46. He'll spike the ball to try to save every precious second he can. Second down coming up. Looking to throw. It's Dampier. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Slicing and dicing through this defense, and they've got it down to the 23. And they spike it to stop the clock. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. And they won't make the connection, looking to make a big play there. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. Let's it fly deep downfield. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Fires into the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. 
going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Unleashes to the end zone. Incomplete on that drive alive. I like it. Take the shot, throw it to the end zone, try to make a play, give your receiver a chance to make it. You know, you got to make plays. You, you're trailing late in the fourth quarter and you need touchdowns. Like, got to come up with something big, and this offense just wasn't able to do it now. Defense is going to have to go pull out some miracles, maybe an onside kick. Something great is going to have to happen to get back in this ballgame. They'll try the run. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Illegal block on the offense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. After this, it'll be a wrap. And with things in their favor on the scoreboard, the quarterback's favorite play in the playbook. The old deal down from victory formation. Plenty of fireworks in this one. A lot of points. They always talk about having the chalk last, and it seemed like whoever was on offense had the last laugh. Yeah, it's amazing how much offense has just boomed in college football. So good. So many ways to hurt you. And you saw both of these offenses put on the show today, Jess. Dave, we talked to both of these coaching staffs, and their defensive coordinators were losing sleep all week. They knew this was going to be a tough task ahead of them. So much speed, so much firepower on both of these offenses. And, man, we saw that here today. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
that the Cowboys suffered no new significant injuries in today's game. After next week's bye week, the Cowboys travel to Fort Collins for a Mountain West Conference rivalry game against the Colorado State Rams in the Border War, the Battle for the Bronze Boot.